Hey, what's going on YouTube? The channel's If Sports Cards. My name is Ian, and welcome to episode 112 of the Top 10 Sports Card Polls of the Week. Football starts this week, so I know you guys are in a good mood. Could you please help me get to 2,000 likes on this video? I don't know if we've ever actually done that before, but make sure you're also subscribed to this channel. You don't want to miss these episodes. I drop them each and every Monday. We also had a retail version I dropped last Friday. If you haven't seen that yet, be sure to go check that out. But the Top 10 series is sponsored by PSA. I did mention in Friday's video, I talked about their NFL special and their dual service value specials in that video, but they also have an express special for $100 per car. Card. You can send any year in for a max declared value of $2,500. And they have a super express special for them. Really big boy cards. $200 to get these graded. This can be any year. And the max declared value on these is $5,000. The NFL special and the dual service value specials do require you to be a collector's club member, which is $99 a year. I have a link down below in the description box for you guys to access. And if you need any more information on those specials, that link is also down below. It took a poll of $4,500 to get on the list this week. And we have one pretty intriguing card that you guys have just got to see. I know you're going to enjoy this one. Kicking us off at number 10 this week is LMS Box Breaks, who break over on the Loop app, and they were opening 2022-23 Obsidian Soccer, and this was a T-Mall box. VM, no freaking way! No freaking way! Boom! Oh my god! One of one! Let's go! This is the Cristiano Ronaldo Volcanic Material Signatures Red Flood 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $4,500, which is a guess based on a couple of his out of three sales that have recently occurred. At number 9, we're with Overtime Rips, who break over on the Fanatics Live app, which, if you didn't know, is only available for iPhone users currently, but they posted this on their Instagram page, and this is a poll from 2022 Optic Football. Auto. I think this is great iron. This could be big. Jaquan. Oh, one of one. One of one. No, oh, we gotta sweat it. I don't know if we can. I don't want to put it face down. All right, fair enough. We're banging it. Don't sweat it. One of one. One of one. Great iron kings. This is the Brock Purdy Gridiron Kings Auto Gold Vinyl 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $5,000, which is a guess based on what his out of 25 version of this card sells for. We got a lot of stock in this guy, don't we, Niners fans? At number 8, we are with the Break Club, who break over on Facebook, and they were opening 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. Is that a taco? I think we got a taco, guys. I think we got a taco. It is a taco. Wild card. The f is a wild card. What does that mean? What's on the back of it? I don't know. Five of five. What is it? <laughs> I shared the same sentiments as this breaker. This is the wild card taco fractor numbered five out of five. I have no idea what it is, but I'm estimating that it is a $6,000 card based on where this card currently sits with less than a day left at eBay auction. If you're watching this on Monday at 2.30 Central Time, this is going to end. If you want to go see for yourself what it ends at, be my guest. But if you caught the retail top 10 that I dropped last Friday, you heard me talk about these taco fractors in more detail and the rumors surrounding their purpose. But when I was doing my research, I did not see that there was a wild card as it is nowhere to be found on the checklist. It was hard to see on the back, but it's numbered TF300. The checklist only goes to TF200. It's My curiosity is peaked. The Break Club graciously did provide me this link to the Topps website as well, so it appears that they do have something up their sleeve. What do you guys think this could possibly be? I'm very excited to find out. 
At number seven, we are with Big Dog Sports Cards. They have a personal Instagram page, which I will link below, but this was sent directly to me via Instagram. This is Finley, 11 years old, and Grady, 13 years old, whose birthday it actually was on Saturday when this card was pulled, along with their dad, Rob, who didn't provide an age for some reason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They were opening 2022-23 Topps Chrome Stadium Club Soccer, and wouldn't you know it, they had some more birthday magic. Check this out. Finn thinks he has himself a super corrector. Let's see here what we got going slow. Hold on, let me zoom out a little. Hold that card for me. Hold that for me. Zoom in. Okay, be very careful. That's definitely a super. Okay, let's see what we got here. Auto. Oh my god! Oh my god! What a one! Put it down! Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy <laughs> you love to see it this is the Erling Holland behind the lens autograph super fractor one of one I have this at an estimated $7,000 card, which is a guess based on a Super Factor sale out of last year's Stadium Club product. But honestly, Holland's one of one auto sales are all over the place. So this amount might be pretty conservative. This is a very interesting design. It looks like there's a little duct tape on the bottom here and a wrinkle, but I think that's the design of the card. Very cool poll, guys. And happy belated birthday to you, Grady. At number six, we are with Mamba Cards, who breaks under the handle Cardboard 47 over on Whatnot, and he was opening 2022 National Treasures Football. All right, last card, Mojo. I see red. Uh-oh. Yeah. Burn Sam Ho! 101 Shield! Yes, sir! This is the Sam Howell Rookie Material Signatures NFL Shield Red 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $7,500 because believe it or not, the other two one of ones of this design have already sold on eBay, but the NFL Shield should outsell them both pretty easily. At number five, we are with Leighton Sports Cards who break here on YouTube and they were opening the same thing, 2022 National Treasures Football. Oh man, dude. Oh man, what a box. Holy hell, dude. What? Wow. Treasure chest, signatures, platinum, one of one. Bailey Zappi, Damian Pierce, Brees Hall, Brian Robinson Jr., Chris Olave, Christian Watson, Desmond Ritter, Drake London, Kenneth Walker, Kenny Pickett, and Malik Willis. The one of one treasure chest booklet. Holy wow, dude. I don't have to tell you what this is because you can read it right here. I really do wish these were live. This would be so sick to see, but this is I am guessing a $7,500 card as well. It is a complete guess. I honestly cannot find anything I feel comfortable comping this with. There is a rookie version and an NFL greats version of this card, which the NFL greats contains an auto of 11 Hall of Fame quarterbacks and Aaron Rodgers, who will one day receive that designation after he retires. There is an NFL greats out of 10 with a bid of $2,500 at eBay auction right now. So I think the one of one Hall of Fame booklet would be around $10,000. But given the names on this list, I would say that this should stay in the four figures. But uh, I'm surprised I don't see Purdy on this card. At number four, we are back with Mamba Cards, who has another absolutely insane poll that you gotta see. This time, out of 2022, Tops Diamond Icons Baseball. James, last card. Good luck, bro. Oh, I think it's gonna be one to one. <gasps> no. Oh, oh, Tony, one on one, one on one. Let's go, James. Bang! This is the Shohei Otani Red Ink Auto Gold 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $9,500, which is exactly 10 times more than what his out of 25 version sold for just last week. At number three, we are with the Hobby House, who breaks over on Whatnot, and they were opening 2022 National Treasures Football. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
This is the Kenny Pickett RPA Hollow Gold number 6 out of 10, and I'm estimating that this is a $12,000 card. The 9 out of 10 actually sold one week ago today for $10,300. The 5 out of 10 is currently listed on eBay as a PSA 8 with a bid of $9,500 with over a week left and an identical patch as the 9 out of 10. Neither of those patches compared to this one though. This is a thing of beauty. At number two, we are with Bless Sports Cards who break here on YouTube and they were opening 2022-23 Select Basketball and this was an H2 box. <laughs> no. LeBron James, Black 101 courtside for Karam. No. That's, <laughs> you're a hitter, Karam. He's you are hit. you are an absolute <laughs> hitter. That's a hit. That is a hit. That's sick. That is so disgusting, Karen. Holy cow. This is the LeBron James courtside black disco one of one, and I am estimating that this is a twelve thousand five hundred dollar card, and that is based on what two gold out of ten sold for last month. Other players who have had their black disco courtside sell did so for about seven times more than their golds, but you just never really know what someone is willing to pay, especially for a guy like LeBron. But we have one better than this this week. Let's see who and what took down the top spot in this week's Top 10 Sports Card Polls of the Week. Taking down the number one spot this week is Hot Corner 315 Breaks who break here on YouTube, and they were opening 2023 Tops Chrome Baseball. Check this out. Ronald Acuna. There's a Josh Young rookie. Oh, wow. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We just hit the 101 Super Fractor for Anthony Volpe. No f***ing way. No way. Holy s***. Holy s***. I'm sorry for my language. I can't believe that just happened. Mariah, you just hit the jackpot. This is the Anthony Volpe Rookie Auto Super Fractor 1 of 1, and I am estimating that this is a $20,000 card. His non-auto rookie card from this product sold for $12,700 just last week at eBay Auction. Michael Harris Jr.'s Super Fractor Auto went for $18,500, and Volpe typically outsells him. Volpe was the talk of the Yankees to start the season and was swinging a hot bat early, but has since cooled off. He is still an everyday player, but he's only batting 218 for the season. There's also a new kid in town as Jason Dominguez has finally been called up last Friday and his much anticipated debut was a stellar one as he homered off of Verlander in his first career at bat. There's a lot of excitement in the Yankees organization. Congratulations to Hot Corner 315 Breaks on taking down the top spot this week as well as everyone else who even made this list. I tried to bring you the best cards pulled every single week and I couldn't do it without your guys' help and your guys' help by submitting your pulls or pulls that you see via the form down in the description box allows me to do better and more research on those cards so I want to give a massive thank you to everyone who submits polls each and every week thank you as well to PSA our sponsor here and lastly thank you to the if fam for your membership here on YouTube Football is starting, like I said. Good luck to your teams, but most importantly, good luck to your fantasy teams, unless you're playing me. We'll see you guys again next week. I cannot wait to see what is pulled over the course of the next week. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.